Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue where if you're getting an error saying failure to configure Windows updates and it's going to revert the changes back. So we're going to go over how to resolve this pretty quickly. So we're going to have to restart our computer into safe mode. So for Windows 7 users, it's going to be pretty simple to get into safe mode. Usually while your computer is booting up, you just would tap the F8 key lightly every second or so, and then you would boot into safe mode with networking, which is what I would recommend. On Windows 10, I'm going to head over to Start menu here, click on the power icon, and then hold down the Shift key while I left click on the Restart button. So this will take an additional couple of steps for me because I'm on Windows 10. Some of you guys might be on Windows 10 experiencing this problem as well, so I figured I still would do it on a Windows 10 operating system. But the same would go for Windows 7, you're just trying to get into safe mode. So on Windows 7 and Windows 8, I'm going to start troubleshoot from the choose an option menu. So it's advanced options again. Then I'm going to select startup settings. And then I'm going to restart. Again, this is for Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows 7 users can skip over this part. So now I'm going to select F5 for enabling safe mode with networking. Okay, so at this point I'm going to enter my password, so if I was going to log into Windows here. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate over to the Start menu, and we're going to left click to open it up. And then we're going to type in File Explorer. There are other ways to get to File Explorer. I just wanted to make sure that everybody who's watching this can get to it. So we're going to open that up. On the left side, you want to go underneath this PC. Windows 7 and Windows 8 users should have something that says Computer instead. So you want to go under that. And then once you click on either this PC or my computer, depending on what version of Windows you're running, it should be something that says local disk. You want to select whatever one your local disk is. Most people should be the C drive. And you want to double click on it. Then you want to double click on Windows. Now you want to scroll down until you get to software distribution. Right here. And double click on that. Then there should be a folder that says download. Again, double click. Now you want to delete all the entries in here. So you want to highlight over all of these or tap on Control A on your keyboard to highlight all and select all. And then you just want to delete them. So I'm going to right click and then delete. And then once you're doing that, I'd recommend restarting into the normal Windows operating environment. Check for updates and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.